Hey guys, so welcome back to another After the Burn, After the Review review. For those of you that are new to this type of video or you're just new in general, this is basically a rundown on what happened after I finished wrapping up the filming for the initial candle review. Did the candle remain consistent as shown in the video? Did it start to tunnel? Did the scent dissipate or did I end up having to take it back to the store? So that's basically what this video is all about. I'm kind of, sort of in a catch-22 and I'll explain why. When the candles reach the mid-range point, sometimes they start to tunnel and when they tunnel, they end up giving absolutely zero scent throw. So the problem is, it's like, and I want everyone's like honest opinion because I see it from both sides of the fence. If your candle has burned to the or to mid range and then it just dies out all of a sudden, do you take it back and exchange it, or do you just keep it and bear with it? That's kind of what I've been um, fighting with because it's like, why would I take it back knowing that? If I get the same one and exchange it, it's going to happen again. So I'm going to be back to square one and, you know, or I have to deal with, you know, crappy customer service. And it's just like, you just don't know what to do. Or do you just take it and I guess people chunk it up and use it as tarts or they'll, you know, do whatever with it. I want to know what people think because personally, I know how the stores think they're like, look, okay, now you've burned this candle to mid-range and now you want a, a new one? Like, what's going on? But then it's like, really, you really don't get it. Like, sometimes the candles really don't work. And if, you know, it's genuine, then what's the problem? So that's my whole issue with these candles is that overall, the problem has been corrected. When you go to light the candle, everything's all hunky-dory, you know. The flames are high, the wax pool melts deep and even, great throw, everything's great. That's first day, second day. Third day, it's good but not great, and then sometimes the candles die out. And it's like, it's so annoying because when that happens, when you light the candle, especially if you have like a white wax, you know, candle, the wax turns black and brown, and then it starts to smell like soot, smell stale, and you just get nothing from it. So when you light the candle, the wicks have just, you know, shrunk sh so shortly that the flame is so small and puny, it just cannot melt the wax. And then it ends up tunneling, and then you're just back at a problem. So I really want to know what you guys think. Do you keep it? Do you take it back? What do you do? I want to know. So, with that being said, let's get into the review. So, I've pretty much burned everything thus far, and I've even burned multiples of, you know, certain scents. So, let's get into it. All right, now let's start with, I think I left off, the last video I left off with the Italian collection. So, let's do Villa Bergamot and Dulce. So, Villa Bergamot is actually um, shown bottom left-hand corner in this video burned like a charm. Start to finish, top to bottom, no problems, great throw, high flames, it was excellent. Dulce, on the other hand, was a problem. Um, you saw in the video it was excellent, everything looked great, the flames were high, great throw, great this, great that. When the candle reached a little bit below mid-range, it actually started tunneling because the wicks already were super, super thin and you really couldn't um, tell whether or not if it's going to be good or not but it just started tunneling on me I couldn't smell anything I did the cotton ball trick and for the, just so we don't you know no misunderstanding what happens when you use a cotton ball is that that sort of kind of helps the flames to get higher because I think it's too much wax to melt so the flames are they're like almost drowning in the wax so as it's lit and be very careful kids and even adults you get the cotton ball, you place it in the middle of the wax as it's lit, very carefully. Don't, you know, burn your hand off or burn the cotton ball. Soak up a little bit of the wax and hopefully that'll help um, to make the flames get a lot bigger and wider. So that usually helps, but in this case it didn't. 
So I ended up taking that one back to the store. I just, I couldn't do it. Now let's talk about, I guess, Lakeside, the Lakeside collection. Um, we have a total of now 11 cents. We have summertime soda included in that. So before it was 10, now it's 11. Um, I'll do the first 10. Um, I'll, I'll group them, you know, perfect to least perfect. Um, the perfect ones from the collection, it's going to be a small list, but it was Boathouse Row and Summertime S'mores, Lakeside, and Mahogany Teakwood. Oh yeah, and Dockside. Those were flawless top to bottom, excellence, just pure excellence. Now with Campfire Cookout, that one was a dud from the get-go. It just, the wicks were so puny and thin. It could not create an even wax pool, and it stunk to the high heaven, so you know that went back to the store. Watermelon Lemonade was another story. It just died out on me near, I guess, mid-range. It was not good. Couldn't smell it as it, you know, as it was, but it still had tunnel issues. Issues. I'm, I was about to say issuing, but issues. Um, let's see. What else? Wildflower Valley. It was just okay. I think it was like a cedarwood oak repackage. It was a testant from the fall. That one just tunneled on me. I back that one went. Um, summertime, summertime strawberry. Strawberry picnic. That one died near mid range. It just, the wax turned black. It went from smelling artificial, kind of chapstick, um, I guess, buttercream strawberry to about just nothing it was terrible back that went forest trail that was no good it was it was terrible i couldn't stand it at the end it died on me flames were super thin so or the wicks were thin um flames were super short couldn't melt the wax so that went back to the store summertime soda is a winner happy to say it made the mid-range point and it's excellent so that's that with the lakeside collection um, there are a few remainders in um, the White Barn and I guess fresh picked collection, so I'll start with the White Barn. Um, both vanilla coconuts, the one with the black packaging and the one with the white or the more brighter packaging. And that, yeah, that's shown in the video. It's the far right hand corner. The one that was released a few months ago, the black labeling, it was terrible. It started out super slow. I thought it was a dud, but I let it burn and burn. And it eventually corrected itself, so that was great. Um, and it was all good, but then it got past mid-range, and it just died. The wick wouldn't even, or one of the wicks wouldn't even light up, so that went back. Okay, we have the new vanilla coconut, which burned top to bottom like a charm. High flames from start to finish. Great burn, great throw. Excellent. Japanese cherry blossom, that one was good top to bottom no problems everything was great high flames great throw really like that one and can't i don't, wouldn't buy it in bulk but you know if it comes out repackaged and i get it and burns great great if not then you know that's that but that one was great that's the white barn packaging by the way and the remainders for the fresh pick collection i think it was pear and lilac blossom pear as you can see in the very middle all the candles that one was excellent top to bottom no problems kind of didn't smell like you know super great but it was good while it was here so i wouldn't repurchase that but it was great lilac blossom that was a dud from the get-go it just tunneled from the start couldn't really smell it back that one went and then the lone candle from the failed total bomb collection the eucalyptus mint collection Eucalyptus Mint and Vanilla 3-Wick, that was terrible. It stunk. The flames just died. And that one in Bellini Cafe had like the same makeup, the same wicks, the same wax. Mid-range, sooty, they couldn't light it. It was terrible. So that one went back to the store. Okay, let's do, I guess, like the woodland oak moss type collection. Oak Moss and Vetiver was not good near the end. It tunneled, couldn't smell it. Back it went. Whitewater Birch, it was terrible. It really didn't smell good. It smelled like soot and just kind of artificial. It was really bad, so that one went back. 
Sage and Cedar, it's actually right here. I just finished it this evening and it was amazing. Like the flames were so crazy, it like blackened the edges of the um, the jar. It just burned like a charm. Let me give you like an overhead. I mean, you can see it, but you know what I mean. It was excellent. So that one's great. And just by the way, I finished a eucalyptus again. I burned through like five of these a month. So yeah, really great. I burned my candles to the brim, like to the core. Like you can't melt it or burn it any longer. It's great. And while I'm here, let me just show you these guys right quickly. Um, they burn excellently. That's even a word. But um, yeah, it was great. All these candles. Island Colada, Island Nectar, Lemon Mint Leaf, Pear, Espresso Bar, let's see, Villa Bergamot, Mahogany Teakwood, Aloha, oh, the Tunnel Region. This one gave me trouble, but I ended up using the cotton ball and worked out. So Aloha Waikiki and Vanilla Coconut. So um, I've had these candles for about two or three months now, just sitting here. I wanted to wait until like they finished with their collections until fall. So I can give you like a better rundown. But so that's that. Um, Sage and Cedar. I love that candle. It's all of these in that collection had like this undertone of cologne, but this one really got me. I really like it. I have like 10 of them, so I cannot wait until this goes to 75% off because I'm going to stock through the roof. I'm telling you. Excellent candle. Sandalwood Citrus was just disgusting from the start. That one back, it, it was no good, so that just went back to the store. Okay, now we have the Destinations Collections. I reviewed the Paris Daydream. I've reviewed, oh God, what do you call it? I've reviewed London Calling. Those were excellent. And I think there's Aloha Waikiki. No, not that one. I think there is um, White Sand and something. What do you call that candle? That candle is called Meet Me in Tahiti. There we go. I couldn't, I couldn't think of it. So that one. I was just told that it had a phenomenal throw, so I might end up going back to get that one. I don't know. But I reviewed it, and it was no good, so that's that. Now, the new ones, Rio Glow, Cita Santorini, Aloha Waikiki, and Malibu Heat. Rio Glow was unscented, couldn't smell a thing. That just went back. Great burn, but I just couldn't smell anything. Cita Santorini, that one was... Excellent. Yeah, that one went from start to finish. No problems, no trouble. Great burn, great throw. Excellent. Aloha Waikiki. Flawless until a little bit below mid-range. It gave me trouble, but I used the cotton ball trick. Got it together. Everything was great. Um, again, great burn, great throw. Great. Malibu Heat just smells like Nair to me. It was terrible. Um, I don't remember it. I know I took it back, so couldn't have been that good, but it had a good burn. I, I don't even remember. Check the video for that one. I did. And then we have a few more candles. We have about three more. Kind of random, kind of hit or misses for some, but you know. We have the White Barn Summer, which is basically a repackage of Eucalyptus Spearmint. And no, it really smells like Zen. The Better Homes and Gardens Wax, or Sensationals Wax Cube. Very subdued um, Eucalyptus Spearmint scent. Um, unfortunately, I took it back to the store. Had it tunneled um, past mid range, it tunneled the wax, just turned all sorts of grays and black hues. It was no good. Beginning was great, mid range, no good. Love Mom 2013 Bright Bouquet. What were they thinking making us give our moms a cologne set? It's like giving your mom cologne, like you don't do that. My mom is like, Look, or I know she would have been like, Okay, that's going back, you know better. Yeah, so. They missed it with that one. And guess what? It tunneled near mid-range. Below mid-range, I should say. Cotton ball trick. It turned around. So I'm like, great. That's a good thing. So that one was okay. Now let's talk about Summer Boardwalk. I just finished mine last night. It was flawless. Top to bottom. Every time I lit the candle, I was cornered. I couldn't move. 
I couldn't get up. I was on the floor. I was crying my eyes out. It was crazy strong. Great burn, top to bottom, start to finish. It was excellent. That's like the magical candle right there. It's amazing. So that pretty much, and then summertime soda is excellent, flawless. So yeah, guys, that covers pretty much everything. Um, we are in May. So semi-annuals next month, beginning of next month. So I think that's it for candles. I don't think they're going to release anything else. I mean, I've reviewed the, the potential releases, you know, the campfire, all that mess. But I don't think there will be anything else to review or talk about until the fall. I'm kind of excited. No, 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 that's a lie. I will definitely review the um, semi-annual candles. Caramel apples coming back. Can't wait. My caramel apples coming back. Um, what else is coming back? Let's see. I don't remember all of them, but, you know, a few of those guys are coming back, so I can't wait. And those will be reviewed, Simeon. They, like, keep me moving. I haven't had a break to just, like, burn stuff I want. I feel like I have to keep reviewing and reviewing, but that's good. I kind of like it. I kind of like being, you know, on my toes and with it. So that is pretty much it for this after the burn, after the review. Review. We have reached the end. I, I sort of guess, kind of. Um, pretty soon that fall stuff's going to roll in. I don't know the exact dates, guys. I have no clue. I'm pretty sure the bloggers and whoever lives near a test store will let us know. All I know is that if you guys get them, send me pictures. Let me know what they smell like, what they look like, and I'm set. I That's all I want to know. Let me know if they burn. That's all I need to know. So expect reviews for the... Let's keep our fingers crossed and knock on wood for some newness. All we need is newness. I mean, if they release summer, summer sweater, sweater weather, I'll be set. I'll be so happy. But other than that, I want some newness for the fall. And that's pretty much it, guys. I will have a semi-annual tutorial, kind of like what to do, how to do it, what to expect, what not to expect. I'm going to do a kind of a big thing on that one. Um, a few of you were asking me questions about, you know, how do you, I guess, do good on YouTube? What are your tips and tricks and all that stuff? I didn't want to do it. I felt like I wasn't qualified enough, but I feel like time has passed, and I've been doing this for a minute now, and I think I can do it. So I'm going to let you guys know what I do. It's pretty simple, pretty basic. And that is all I have to say. Um... Yeah, that's it. I haven't used too many wallflowers or I haven't used four ounces. I'll talk about all that stuff in the semi-annual video so you know what to buy and what not to buy. Not that I'm trying to tell you like what to buy, but you know, usually if my candles are duds, sometimes yours are too. But it, it's just, it's a gamble as you all know. And without me rambling your head off for the next 20 years, let me let you guys go. Stop it here. Thanks again for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Um, it means a lot. And as always, you have to comment, rate, subscribe if you're new. Then you better click that button because we have a lot more to come. And that's it. So God bless you and I'll talk to you all soon. Thanks. Love you much. Bye.